Hello, in this episode we are going to talk about TSDZ2 and TSDZ2B. What upgrades have been made to these two motors? First of all, we can see that the appearance of the new line design, TSDZ2B streamlined lines, compared to the TSDZ2 4 horizontal lines, looks more powerful. After reinforcing, the strength increases by 15%, reducing the failure rate of this reason and after sales on this point. Your e-bike can be ridden as a normal bike when the motor out of power thanks to the new bidirectional freewheeling clutch instead of the one-way clutch to reduce the drag resistance from motor. Before the reduction shaft kit can be disassembled into nylon gear, shaft and one-way needle bearing. Now the reduction gear kit is all in one which is not able to divide, then there's no one-way needle bearing anymore. After cancelling the one-way bearing, the new design is all in one nylon gear, which can bear greater torque with external clutch. Before there's no embossing so friction is limited, the motor might be overturned if it was not mounted or used suitably. Now embossing is added on the surface of the plate so as to increase the friction, then the motor won't be overturned. The fixed reinforcing plate is optimized by adding embossing, depending on which the motor was better fixed even without fixing block. Then the motor is fixed with double protection and avoid the cracking problem of overturning and hitting to the frame when the fixing block was accidentally loosened. After the upgrade of fixing plate, the adaptability of the motor is improved so that the motor can also be installed on e-bikes where fixed block is not available. 